good. Mm. Put on your claws, okay? <laughs> Every one of them, listen for your alarm. And do homework during homework time. That way we won't have anything to finish up. You need to go and submit your math homework. Mornings now where I have to be out the door right when the kids have to get on their calls, they're kind of chaotic. I also had to get footage off of Jason's phone because we filmed a video yesterday when we were out and about and we didn't bring my camera. <laughs> and it was just not working well for me. So, I, it is barely 9.15. The kids just barely got on their Zoom calls and I have stuff clinking in the back seat of the car because the line to the donation place, we don't have a Goodwill near us, so it's just called like Value Village. The line was clear back to the street. Oh gosh, that's so annoying. Not kidding you, 20 cars were in line to do the donations yesterday when we went to do it. And I was like, nope, not waiting in that line. <laughs> I am headed to do probably one of my favorite like folly kind of things to do. My friend Vince owns an apple orchard out in, let's see where he has it, out in Yakima, out in Eastern Washington. And years and years ago, I made contact with him from picking up apples. I don't remember how I found out about it, but he found out that all my church ladies were reliable and would pay him and not steal his apples, because he's had that happen before. <laughs> And it has been a yearly tradition to bring his apple truck to our church parking lot. And all of my friends from church and their friends from their churches and their family members and their grandmas and everyone we can think of gets together and we all take apples and pay for them from him. They, he charges 50 cents a pound for Jonah Gold apples and 75 cents a pound for Honeycrisp apples, if he has any today. I think he's bringing a fresh load and he hasn't gone anywhere else. So we should have some Honeycrisp, but last year he ran out before he got to us. So it was supposed to be like a 75 degree day today and now it's cloudy and overcast and foggy. <laughs> so anyway, at least it's not raining. But we're gonna go pick apples out of his truck and I just like to bring you along with me because it is such a fun tradition. And I want you guys to leave a comment below. I am so far behind, you're probably gonna see this video like th the day after I, you know, this occurs. So let me know down below if you wanna see different ways to use these apples, actually, namely applesauce. Because over the years I have learned three different ways to cook applesauce and they're all very effective, but they're all very different. So let me know down below if you want me to show you how to make applesauce. my little load see how big it is pretty big bucket of apples all right back home and guess what I can smell all of a sudden smoke I've got my apples here in my bucket we leave the lid on tight and it will last probably until December. So I don't actually know how many pounds I ended up getting. I get them for free. <laughs> because I help coordinate getting all these people to come and have been doing it for so long. I think we've been doing this for 10 years. We've been doing it a long time. Vince gives them to me for free. <laughs> I used to get like 500 pounds. I used to get a ton and do my applesauce. You can see all my jars over on the shelf over there. I think we're down, I don't know, maybe a couple dozen left. Dozen, do, a couple dozen jars left. So I don't need to make more applesauce, technically. 
But like I said, I kind of want to like do a, an updated video on applesauce, uh, making it three different ways. So let me know down below. Even if you already know one way of making it, maybe there's an easier way to make a simple batch or an easier way to make mass quantities of applesauce. I can totally do that. I will just do mini batches um, of each one because I don't have very many apples. But I can definitely do a couple different batches to show you the easiest ways to do it multiple different ways, if that makes any sense. See, now I think you need to have a video. So there you have it. But I think the kids are getting on their last Zoom call for lunch. So then they're all gonna dart out to play. The smoke is coming back. I can literally smell it in the air and it's so sad because it's so sunny and so nice. Supposed to get up to 85 degrees tomorrow. People were talking about going back to the beach. <laughs> I'm not going to. I have all that stuff packed away. But they're, they're saying that the California smoke is headed back our way. So that's kind of sad. Alright, so I came home and my father-in-law had dropped off our Costco food. So, we've got five dozen eggs. To put away and I actually have to put them away in the outside freezer because or fridge we actually bought 18 count the other days so that Abby can make brownies but then got more eggs today so we have a lot of eggs I've got to find some recipes for those all right this little pook she was sitting here doing her math homework and watching the, as I was editing the apple video and she's like oh it's been a long time since I went to get apples do you miss it, huh? Yeah. Climbing up on the truck and getting I apples. I get a stool and it was hard. Yeah, yeah. You can climb up on the stool and climb. I know there's another little boy there today. And it was cute to watch him remembering that you used to be my little apple picker. Yeah, it's only one minute. I know. She hasn't done it for two This years. is her third year not going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to go before you were in kindergarten. I always went, but not really. Sometimes in kindergarten, I don't even know that you were. Yeah, you were back in school. Sometimes, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to go back and look at old videos. Maybe I'll, I'll find those videos and like you can... Like first day of school. I'll, I'll make an Apple playlist and you guys can go look at the Ashley past videos. Won. Yeah, where Ashley, Ashley was there with me. But you're going to go play, right? Yes. One more day of playing before the smoke, com uh, smoke comes back. Oh, it's really annoying. It's really annoying. Yep. Hurry, go play. I can already smell it, you guys. I already shut my window. Ugh. We are going to need to run up and shut it real quick. The one in the playroom? No, that one's shut. You want to go My room? Mm -hmm. My room's going to smell so bad tonight. And I just washed my sheets. <laughs> go play quick. If it comes in quicker tonight, you're going to have to come in early. But I'll come get you. Otherwise, 6 o'clock. Okay. I really, I mean, it is coming our way. It was pushing the wind or the smoke out into the Pacific off of California. Chelsea, take a mask and a water bottle. But now the winds have changed and they're, it's already pushed it into Oregon. So we're getting the very tip top of that first bit of smoke out of Oregon. And it's headed our way tonight. And the they said it's not gonna be as bad as it was last time. All right, I've been working on the computer. The kids are still gone. Jason just got home. You, he brought me Pagliacci pizza. Which is um, well, one slice. <laughs> I'm a I'm a one slice wife apparently. That's right. He doesn't share the other slice. What kind is it? Pepperoni I and slice for the evenings. Is that like what, what is that? Uh, like fancy cheese. Feta. It tastes like know. puke. No, it's not. It doesn't <laughs> taste like puke. It's feta like, smells like poo. It doesn't smell. I like may poo, not. And it tastes good. And I have like I'm a picky. You are a picky eater, so I actually Oops. should trust that. The um, presidential debate is on tonight. So that's gonna tell you guys how far behind on my videos I am. We are going to watch that tonight. Abby has an assignment to give her thoughts um, and opinions on what she thinks is gonna happen at the debate or something like that for an assignment. And then she kinda has to share thoughts after she watches part of the debate. She says- Lies of propaganda. Stop. We are not going to give our own personal political views here on our channel. Even though Jason would love to do a whole hour long video on his thoughts and views. And I wouldn't mind sharing mine either. Um, if you want to private message me, you can over on Instagram. Why don't all of our people in other countries tell us what you think of the uh, 
I would all like people to. People who live in other countries. That I would like to know. America, I'd be very interested. Yes. And it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm open to whatever. I'd and you be can very leave. interested in the crap show you think America is or isn't. <laughs> I'm not biased. You can I'm... tell he wants to like share his opinions. So if you want to do that, you can. You don't have to. You can do that in the comments or you can do it over on Instagram. That's more private. I can, you can send me a DM on that. I do, did find it funny that one of you, you know who you are, <laughs> did a meme on Canada keeping the US citizens out of their country. <laughs> Which, if Canada's keeping us out, well, a Canadian person tried to poison the president. You know you've done stupid if Canadians are trying to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> so, regardless, it is an important night. It's pretty historic. We are trying to teach our kids about politics and the importance of having an opinion and knowing and having knowledge and gaining that knowledge. So, we're going to put the camera down tonight. We are gonna cut that out. Stop! I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that all out. You guys don't know what he just said because I cannot let him go off. I cannot. You can, I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna cut that out too. He's gonna get bleeped more than he should. So I'm gonna say good night to you guys. Sorry this is short, but it, this is what we're doing tonight, and it's not really something that we can share. You guys, we have a very strong political opinion right now with everything that's going on, and that that opinion is not shared by about half of our friends. So you can kind of see where our dilemma is just here personally, and even within our family. So maybe some of you across the country share the same opinions we as we do. Maybe you don't, and that's fine. We all have to have our own thoughts and what we need to do to you know take care of our own families. So. That being said, we are going to sign off tonight. Sorry, this is short. Probably isn't short enough. We're, um, uh, what is the word? Rambling. Winded. What is the hot, what? <laughs> 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 what is the word? What is the phrase? I don't know. Let's have our followers tell us what it is. Ah, I don't know what it is. Long-winded. Long-winded. Thank you. I knew it was winded something. <laughs> anyway, long-winded. Take care, you guys. I enjoy doing apples. It's fun. Stay tuned. We'll do an Apple video soon. Yeah, and La oh, stop. Okay. <laughs> he needs to be stopped. It's about to get real in here, and this camera cannot be out and record him because it's going to get bad. So, oh, the girls. Was the door locked? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mom, Say goodnight. Do we have to watch that thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you guys later. That thing is the presidential debate. I've already been talking to all my kids about it. So, take care. We'll see you guys next time.